We have decided it's time to upgrade the mattresses in our trailer. When we first purchased the trailer two years ago, we did put a mattress topper underneath the mattress that came with the trailer on the main bed. We have decided to change up what we use on our main bed, and we have also decided it's time to upgrade the bunk mattresses. So I'll explain why we changed up the main bed and then what we did to improve the bunk mattresses. So the original solution that we had for the main bed up front is we put a three inch mattress topper underneath the original mattress just to give it a little bit extra cushion. And that was two years ago that we did that. Now, to be fair, I still think that that is working great. I don't have any problems with it, but I sleep on my back. My husband sleeps on his side and he was ready for us to do something else with this area. So we thought, let's get a different mattress solution for the main bed here, and then we could take that three inch topper that we had purchased for this and split it up to use on the bunks. So we have a four year old and an eight year old, and the bunk for the eight year old, the mattress was starting to feel really thin. So he wasn't complaining about it, but it seemed like he was probably having a similar experience to what we had with the mattress when we first got it, where you could just feel the plywood underneath really easily. So he wasn't complaining about it, but it seemed like he needed a little bit more cushion on his mattress. And then our four-year-old is still light enough that the original mattress was fine, but we thought, well, if we're switching up the bunks, we might as well just do it for both of them, and then we're good down the road. So first, I'll talk about what we did to change up the mattress up here, and then I'll go over what we did with the bunks. So the mattress up here, we decided to replace out with a full XL 10 inch mattress. So instead of getting the topper with the original mattress on top, we got rid of both of those and now we're just using an actual mattress here. So there's more support, it's more comfortable, it fits this area perfectly. This is the size of a full XL and we were able to get that same size mattress. So the size is perfect. The weight is a little bit heavier than our original solution. The topper was about 15 pounds and the original mattress is really light. The mattress that we have on here now is 40 pounds. So it is heavier, but not enough that it's a concern. And so far it seems really comfortable. It shipped compressed in a box that was pretty easy to carry into the trailer. Then we just rolled it onto the bed and took the plastic off of it, and then it started to expand. After about an hour, it looked and felt like a regular mattress. Now, what we did for the bunks was we took that original mattress topper that we had for our bed up here, and we cut it in half. So what we did was we first measured where the halfway mark was and we just used a Sharpie and then a piece of wood as a ruler and just drew that out. And then we just had to take a couple of inches off of the length. So we just took a couple inches off of the end. So we just measured out with Sharpie exactly where we needed to cut. And then we had to figure out how to cut this thing. So we tried a couple of different things. We tried just using an X-Acto knife. We tried using some garden shears and just some different tools that we already had around the house. And they all kind of worked, but none of them were really all that easy to use to cut the memory foam. What we ended up doing was just using some basic just kitchen scissors. It was nothing special and it did take a few minutes to do, but it wasn't too bad and it cut through it really easy and it seemed like it was going to be the cleanest cut without tearing it. So once we got it cut, the edges did not look great, but it was functional. Now what we decided to do, not only to kind of hide the edges that were a little bit uneven, but also we were concerned about how it would fit in the bunk. So we wanted to use this topper to put underneath the original mattress, just like what we had done on our bed up here. But 
I was worried that it would be too tall and I didn't want the mattress to start slipping off of the bunk. So what we did was we got a zippered fitted sheet. So we took the topper and then we took the original mattress and we stuffed both of those into this fitted sheet. It wasn't the easiest thing to put this fitted sheet over both of those items, but with two people, it really wasn't that big of a deal. And we don't really plan to take it in and out of this fitted sheet. We're just using this sheet as basically the mattress cover. So we're just using it to make it seem like these two items are one cohesive mattress piece. So once we got it into that zippered sheet, we just put it back onto the bunk beds and it fit perfect, no problem. Then we just made the bed like normal. So we still put a fitted sheet on top of this and then the regular sheets and blankets and just made the bed like normal. With the mattress topper underneath the original mattress, the entire mattress is a little bit taller. And so it does take away from the headroom a little bit, but both of our kids, when they got on there, that was no problem for them. The little bit of headroom that you lose seemed worth it for the extra support that they had in the mattress. And they're normally not sitting up in bed. Normally when they're in there, they're going to lay down and go to bed. So it wasn't really a big deal for them, but it's just something to think about is the more support that you're adding to the mattress, the less headroom that they have in an already kind of small area. Both of our kids decided this was definitely well worth it and they are very excited to sleep in their new extra padded bunk beds. So that's what we did to help make everybody a little bit more comfortable. We did a regular mattress up front here, and then we took our mattress topper and split it between the two bunks. So everybody got a bit of an upgrade and everybody seems pretty happy with it. I hope this helped. And if it did, please subscribe.